Hi, and welcome back to Game Nights at Gary's. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different than a game review. Uh, we're going to be looking at a game I have yet to play. Um, recently, my daughter tested positive for COVID-19, so I was stuck in the house for a while, quarantined. I decided to treat myself and buy one of the things on my wish list. It's been there for quite a while. Uh, let me lift this thing up. It is a pretty hefty box, if you can't tell from that. It is a copy of Kingdom Death Monster, and it is not a light box compared to most board games. So as you can see, the shrink wrap here is still on it. I know nothing about what's actually inside it, so I'm going to open this up in just a second on camera, and you guys can see it for the first time with me. Alright guys, are you excited? I am. It's been almost 10 years I've been wanting to do this, wanting to buy this, and I finally indulged myself. So let's get this wrap off and see what we can find. I have heard that the miniatures are cast in resin and are absolutely beautiful. Look at all these sprues. Tons of faces. Looks like I'm gonna have a few hours of just cutting and gluing before I can even start that first game. That's okay, I've got time. Nothing but time. See what else is in here. This is dark starvation. Must be overwhelming darkness. It's some cool looking art. Looks like it's for two separate functions. One of them is maybe a food track. Uh, the other, I don't know, principles, innovations. I'm sure I'll find out when I start reading that rule book. That's neat. All the punch cards are shrink wrapped together. We have toughness, evasion, luck speed, accuracy, movement, and strength. Looks like these might be blood markers. Turn order. Looks like this is the board, but it is sealed shut. I'm kind of afraid to open any of these up in case it's not something I'm supposed to look at. Let's see here. We got Whole bunch of little cards shrink wrapped together. We have. You can't see because of my light here. A lantern of some type, and then. Got a couple of these an almanac, rawhide boots. Looks like these are just the items you can get. Round leather shield.
Got some custom dice here. Looks like it's a handful of tens with the ten being a lantern. Some custom D6s. Again, I'm afraid to tear into too many of these things because I don't want to look at stuff I'm not supposed to see. Looks like we have dividers here. First day settlement event. Looks like these are events that run throughout the course of your games. Arbor Surgeon. I wonder if these are classes or something. Looks like maybe it's a class you can take. And then different items you get to start with. Now, there is cardboard in here, and that leads me to wonder if there's something hidden underneath. No, nothing underneath. It was worth a try. What do we have here? Looks like this is a whole bunch of character sheets, which is awesome. If I can play different sessions of this with different people, that'll make me happy. That way I don't have to do it by myself every single time. What do we have here? Looks like this is... Maybe an equipment sheet or someplace to put these little cards. They look like they'd fit there. That makes sense to me. I'll keep looking. What do we have a settlement name? So I hope that you can have multiple games running at the same time. But I worry that they're giving this many settlement sheets because I'm going to need to make that many settlements because I'm going to die that many times. But that's okay. Oh, no, there's a death count up there, so it looks like I can die quite a few times when they intend me to. So maybe I get to run this with multiple people for added value. Ooh. Is that... This is a hardcover book of some sort. I'm guessing it's the rule book. There's a nice little ribbon bookmark in there attached to the spine. I'm thinking it's a rule book, but I'm not going to crack it just yet. Little foam pieces to keep everything tucked in nice. More cardboard hiding storage, but I like seeing the little storage for the tokens and stuff. There's nothing worse than a game that doesn't give you anything but the box to put stuff in. What is? More cards. AI Watcher. It looks like these are Stolen Dreams. White Lion. Looks like it's cards for all sorts of things. Lantern armor. You feel invincible. On arrival, gain survival up to the survival limit. Hmm. Definitely a lot of components. A whole lot of cards. So I am hoping, now that I've seen everything here to have a gameplay video out in the next few days. But I guess that all depends on just how long it's going to take for me to assemble all of those miniatures. Or find out just what miniatures I have to actually assemble first. All in all, I'm excited just to open it up. Been waiting for this for quite a while. For those of you who don't know what the game is actually about, let me do a brief rundown of it. 
So for those of you who hear me say Kingdom Death Monster and have no idea exactly what it is supposed to be, uh, the game itself is a legacy game where you play a campaign over several sessions. Uh, it's estimated 60 hours to play it to completion. Uh, you are the survivor from a monster attack who sets up a village, and each game you play takes place over one year, and you have to try and build up your settlement while monsters try to stop you from doing that. Uh, the game is often described as a mix between Monster Hunter and Dark Souls. Uh, you end up hunting some big fantastic creature. Most of the time, though, it ends up hunting you. Uh, it is fairly brutal. I've heard there are enemy attack cards that will just straight up say the player is dead. Um, that does put a hamper on your plans if you don't get to play. With that being said, I'm super excited to play this. I'm going to jump into assembling some of the miniatures in just a few minutes, and hopefully in the next few days I'll be able to post another video of gameplay, or at least my impressions of the game after my first, most likely, death. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.